foot sparks flew at the Republican debate in Las Vegas last night, but it was Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz that hawked the limelight. CNBC's John Howard gets you the highlights. Fascinating debate, and you saw the predicament of each candidate uh, in some of the sharpest exchanges. In particular, you see Jeb Bush, who used this debate to go more strongly after Donald Trump than he had before. That's because Jeb Bush has got to find a way to make numbers move, especially in New Hampshire, where Donald Trump's got a big lead. Watch the way the two went after each other when talking about strength, ISIS, and immigration. We need strength. We don't have it. When Jeb comes out and he talks about the border, and I saw it, and I was witness to it, and so was everyone else, and I was standing there, they come across as an act of love. He's saying the same thing right now with radical Islam. And we can't have that in our country. It just won't work. We need strength. Governor uh, Bush. Donald, uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. That's not going to happen. And I do have the strength. No, uh, uh, Jeb Bush went on to say that he wasn't going to take his foreign policy advice from the shows, as Donald Trump has said. And he said he wasn't sure whether Trump watches the Saturday morning shows or the Sunday morning shows. You also had sharp exchanges between uh, Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz, who are competing as the principal leading candidates right now to be the anti-Trump, especially in the state of Iowa, where Cruz leads, and in New Hampshire, where Marco Rubio needs to do well. Rubio has been on something of a roll lately, but... Ted Cruz has risen in the polls, and he went hard at Rubio on the issue of immigration when Rubio tried to say their records were similar. Listen to Ted Cruz. Well, he, he has attempted to muddy the waters, but I think anyone that watched the battle that we had, you know, there was a time for choosing, as Reagan put it, where there was a battle over amnesty, and, and some chose, like Senator Rubio, to stand with Barack Obama and Chuck Schumer and support a massive amnesty plan. Others chose to stand with Jeff Sessions and Steve King and the American people and secure the border. So there you saw Ted Cruz going after Marco Rubio. Now, waiting in the wings, another candidate who needs to break out in New Hampshire, running in the center-right lane in this Republican race, is Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey. While Rubio and Cruz went back and forth on their immigration records and on strength, Ted Cruz, uh, Mar uh, Chris Christie came in and said he was the one who sat in ex the executive's chair. And this is what it's like to be on the floor of the United States Senate. <laughs> I mean, endless debates about how many angels on the head of a pin from people who've never had to make a consequential decision in an executive position. So the highlights from the last week's debate. But now we're going to wrap up this edition of India Business Hour. Thanks for watching.